squid. Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Tim. I am the Dizzy Daddy and how you doing? <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while since I've done any food videos. The summer was a little bit hectic. And the kids were around and even though this summer you couldn't do as many things, there's still a lot of stuff to do. So I concentrated more on my fitness journey videos. But now we are back. The kids are in school. I got some elbow room and today Yes, we are doing squid. We're gonna grill up some nice festival style squid and uh, I'm really hungry, so let's go. First thing is first, we need to prep our squid. So, I've got a squid right here we can use. And this is what they call a surumeika. It's a type of squid found and used very often in Japan. And today we are going to use this one for our grilled squid. I'm going to remove the tentacles and use it in another recipe. I'll throw that up on another video so this one doesn't get too long. And let's go. So first what we want to do is for the grilled squid we're just going to use the body. So we want to remove this dealy here. So if you take your fingers and you feel inside there's sort of a connective ligament or tissue right here and what you want to do is you can just take a kitchen scissors and you can just cut down the length of the tube like that and oops I think I've pierced the liver which is not cool but and then you can sort of pull all the guts out like that and a bit of a mess here. I'm actually gonna save this liver part here, liver digestive gland sort of area, and I'm gonna use that in my other dish. So for the part that we're gonna use later, I'm just gonna cut that right here, right under the mouth. We'll just put that to the side. As for the liver, cut it right here and we'll just put this to the side and we'll use that later. Okay, so cleaned up the board a little bit and with our fingers we're gonna reach in there and see if we can sort of grab any more stuff. There's usually sort of the gills there. There we go. We don't want those in there either. And now if we have a look inside, I don't know if you can see that, but that's pretty much completely empty now except for one thing. Those of you who've worked with squid before might know that there is a piece of cartilage that is very much like a bone. It's sort of a quill right there. Okay, so I have rinsed our friend here and patted him down inside and out. Just to it off the excess water. And now we're just gonna do a really quick marinade. Throw him in here. And we're going to go 1-1-1 one, one, one with sake, mirin, and soy sauce. Just for a little bit. Going to go about a tablespoon. About a tablespoon of mirin. Oh, that was a, maybe a little bit more. And then about a tablespoon of soy sauce. Maybe a little more. And I also like a little kick. Just a little. So I'm going to throw a little bit of Korean red pepper in there. That looks like a lot, but it's not all going to be on it once we get it out of there. So that's just going to marinate, squish the air out, seal it up, mush it around. And we'll just let that marinate for, oh, I don't know, 30 minutes. Let's start grilling once again. I have got the indoor grill that my big sister bought me. While it's heating up, I'm just going to get my corn started. What did you think I was just going to make squid? i got to feed my wife. She's over there working hard, working from home because of COVID. I can't just grill one squid and call it a day. So I'm going to get the corn going. Once the corn is about, oh I don't know, 70% of the way cooked through, I'm going to throw the squid on. 
Oh, by the way, I know this isn't the main recipe, but you want to know how to expedite corn on an indoor grill? Like this. Okay. Mr. Squid goes on. Give it a bit of soy. Give these a bit of soy too. Japanese style. Corn on the cob with a bit of soy sauce. Fantastic. This is just a disposable chopstick that I've sharpened on one end. And this through. Through. Like this, then cut a few slashes. Yeah. You've got basically a festival style squid. Probably seen it in the animes if you're into that sort of thing. It's played up and eat. And there we go. Dressed it up with a little bit of samjang, I think that's how you pronounce it. Korean sauce, and a little bit of onions, and of course this, the star of the show. Mayonnaise. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, smokiness. Mmm. There's nothing like it. Mm. I know our festival food is great too. Corn dogs, chili fries. Mm. But I love this kind of stuff as well. Mm. Mm. So good. Okay, there we go. Grilled festival style squid. Really hope you enjoy that. That's one of my favorites. I remember when I was 20 years old, 1996, my dad took me to Japan and I had one of these for the very first time. Yeah, I mean, it's really simple. There's not much to it. And for me, it's just packed full of nostalgia. So there you have it. There will be many more food videos coming up in rapid succession. I'm gonna try to make up for the time I lost over the summer. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. If you'd like to check out my fitness journey, 44 to 24, where I try to reclaim my body from 20 years ago, I mean, it's going all right, but it's tough. You can check that out right here. If you like this video, please do hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next time with lots more. Take care.